When schools around the world transition into online learning, our students partners active with feel good, a youth led movement to end the hunger, how to adapt how they operate. Hola, Chloe. Hi, Monse. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, everyone. For those of you I have not met yet, my name is Chloe Kuhnd, and I am the head of the Feel Good program for the Hunger Project. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Feel Good but, is a youth-led movement of college students committed to the end of hunger. On campuses across North America, students operate social enterprises. Oftentimes, those are grilled cheese delis and invest 100% of their proceeds into the Hunger Project. Not only are they raising money, but they're also raising awareness for the end of hunger. As a rising generation, this is essential to our work. In the process, students are also gaining critical leadership, teamwork, and business skills that will continue to serve them throughout their lives. The impact of COVID-19 demanded a new lens to consider what's missing a question that is not strange to Hunger Project methodology. It's always been true that our feel-good chapters are most successful when we can connect as a movement. Our power lives in our extraordinary community, working in partnership together. That community spirit has continued to persevere through these challenging times as you've heard in the room. Feel Good students were presented with an opportunity to get creative and innovative, discovering new ways to connect on their campuses to work and raise money for the Hunger Project. At the movement level, our students connected online with our series Together Tuesdays. Also, little cheese on the screen. <laughs> a spark tank innovation challenge, move to end hunger, and an anti-racist leadership workshop. It was a busy year. On the chapter level, in the face of challenge, restriction, and fatigue, including Zoom fatigue, students remained resilient. Joining me on stage this evening is Caitlin. Caitlin is a junior at the University of Vermont and a member of her chapter. Yes, give it up for Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin is also a member of the leadership team at the University of Vermont for her chapter. She was also a former THP intern. Caitlin, could you please describe how your chapter adapted to the new landscape and what compelled you to continue connecting and fundraising for the end of hunger? Hi everyone, thank you so much for having me. When it became clear that the pandemic was going to drastically alter our school year, we knew that we had to find a way to continue to keep our chapter and Delhi alive. To set the scene for everyone, UVM had students return to campus with a mix of hybrid, in-person and fully remote classes. However, most classes were fully remote. People that lived on campus weren't allowed to have any guests in their dorm rooms, which made it a really isolating semester. For me personally, being able to connect with my friends in Feel Good and the community as a whole helped me regain a sense of normalcy. Over the summer, our chapter executive team developed a reopening plan, which was approved by the university. Our deli had to undergo some big changes, like we were no longer allowed to have volunteers. All of our officers had to go through extra COVID training. We had plexiglass at our deli and we took all of our orders online. Because of online classes, we got a lot less foot traffic at the deli, meaning that we weren't able to fundraise as much money there. We knew that it was really important for us to continue to fundraise for THP because the program countries were being hit really hard by COVID. We wanted to do our part. Our chapter got innovative and we started a care package program for Valentine's Day and finals. 
we were able to have people donate to send a care package to somebody at the university that was filled with snacks and things from local Vermont businesses. We were able to fundraise for THP, connect with our Vermont community and spread some joy on campus. We also knew that it was super important to keep our chapter community alive. When the weather was nice, we held outdoor tie-day events that were really well attended, were really fun and helped us recruit new members. We also continued having online um, leadership and general meetings. I know for myself, it really helped me get through this year to be able to connect with my community every week. I'm really proud of the way that our chapter and countless others were able to adapt during these challenging times. Thank you.